Abel Avenetti here, muscle tech and bodybuilding.com athlete. Today, I'm gonna run you through my arm workout. So during this arm workout, it's gonna be superset between biceps and triceps. It's gonna be completely different than what you're normally used to. We're gonna start off lifting heavy on biceps at the beginning of the workout, lifting lighter on triceps, and then towards the end of the workout, we're gonna be lifting heavier on triceps and lighter on biceps. All right, so let's get started with this workout. For the first superset, we're gonna be doing barbell bicep curls with rope pushdowns. During barbell curls, make sure that you're keeping your back straight and you're squeezing throughout the whole range of motion. Now moving on to the rope pushdowns, we'll be going for four sets of around 12 to 15 reps. Make sure that you're going slow and controlled. For the curls, we're gonna be going up in weight in each set. We're gonna be doing four sets. We're gonna start off with 12, 10, eight, eight, and on the last set, we're gonna do a drop set. So as I said, we're gonna be going with lighter weight here because we're gonna be pre-exhausting the muscle. Moving on to the second superset, we have Easy Bar Preacher Curls with cable overhead extensions. For the Preacher Curls, we're gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps. When you're doing the Preacher Curls, make sure you're going all the way down, getting that full stretch and going up, pausing for a second, squeezing, and then straight back down. For the cable overhead extension, we're gonna be doing four sets of 15 reps, but at the end of those reps, we're gonna be doing intro set stretching. What that is, you're gonna go all 15 reps, then you're gonna hold it, the stretch, for 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds is up, drop the weight, go for as many reps as you can, stretch again, and then drop the weight one more time, stretch another 30 seconds, and then that is the end of the set. Moving on to the third superset, we have incline bench dumbbell curls with easy bar skull crushers. For the incline bench dumbbell curls, you just raise the bench up to about 45 degrees. We're gonna be doing four sets of around 12 reps. So now we're moving on to where we're gonna be using more weight for triceps. So we're gonna be going heavier and lowering the reps. We're gonna start off with four sets of 10, eight, eight, and eight. And on the last set, we're gonna do a drop set. For the incline bench dumbbell curls, on the fourth and final set, what we just got done doing on triceps, we're gonna do on biceps now. So we're gonna do three sets of 12 reps. The fourth set, we're gonna do the intro set stretching. So when you're doing the tricep skull crushers, make sure that you're not locking out at the top. Too many people go up and just lock out. You wanna keep tension in your triceps the whole time. On the fourth set, when we do the drop set, just drop the weight by 20% and then hit failure on every single set after that. Moving on to the fourth superset, we have dumbbell hammer curls superset with dumbbell overhead extensions. 
For the hammer curls, we're gonna be doing four sets of 12, 10, 10, 10. On the last set, we're gonna be doing that drop set again. The dumbbell overhead extensions, we're gonna be doing four sets of 10 reps. During this movement, I like to have an upright bench just to keep my back completely flat and you're able to focus on all triceps. You're going back, stretching back, and then going up. Don't lock out at the top. When we're doing the dumbbell hammer curls, try to do both arms at the same time. Now, if you hit failure before you get to those 10 reps, go to alternating. You're able to squeeze out a little bit more reps. Moving on to the fifth superset. This is gonna be different. We're gonna be incorporating blood flow restrictions. We're gonna be doing high cable curls with tricep extensions, doing four sets of 15 reps on both exercises. So for blood flow restrictions, there are bands made just for this purpose, but if you don't have those, you can just use any kind of bands. So what you do, you get your band as high up as you can, and you want the tightness around a six or a seven out of 10. So when you're doing the blood flow restriction, you can't use the amount of weight that you would normally be using on a normal set. You have to literally drop the weight in half. So something that you would normally do for around like 30 reps, use that for those 15 reps and you're really going for the pump here. We're gonna be finishing off this workout with a giant set. We're gonna be doing three sets of 12 reps on every exercise. We're gonna start off with the easy bar overhand curls with dumbbell kickbacks, and then we're gonna finish off the workout with close grip push-ups. For the curls, make sure you're doing good form. Keep your back straight, keep tension in your biceps the whole time. So for the dumbbell kickbacks, Use a weight that you can get those 12 reps on and that you're squeezing in the back of that movement and pause for a split second. For the close grip push-ups, make sure you're not locking out at the top. Go down, squeeze, go up. Squeeze really hard at the top, but don't lock out. For the close grip push-ups, make sure that your elbows are tucked to your side so that you're engaging your triceps and not your chest. I like to incorporate this workout every two weeks. One workout I will do where I'm not super set in biceps and triceps, and then this workout is great because it ties them in together. If you have any questions for me, you can reach me on my Instagram and my YouTube channel. For more free articles and videos like this from other muscle tech athletes, visit bodybuilding.com. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.